I'm Lindsay Harms. I'm from Marion, Iowa, and I'm a senior studying media studies with an emphasis in web development and minors in social media and business, and I'm on the women's soccer team. <laughs> Mostly the reason I chose Platvo was the distance from home, and I thought that D3 would be a good fit for me. If I wanted to be able to have a social life, I'd still enjoy the athletic side of things, and Platvo just became the right fit for me. What attracted me to my major was how different it was from everything else. Initially when I came in I kind of wanted to do graphic design and I've always been into like web and web design, Photoshop, social media, and digital editing, like things like that. So it was like, oh, I could actually major in like computer stuff but not have to be super artsy. And there I am. <laughs> um, my sister and I, we both started playing soccer when we were really little and it was just something that kind of stuck with me and it's just always something that my family's done. I'm a sweeper so I'm last line of defense before it hits our goalie so I'm kind of left making sure that if someone loses a mark I'm kind of there to cover them so there's not anybody left wide open. I used to in high school I would braid my hair like French braid for every game. I tried it for a couple games here this year but I went back to the barn. I just like to have it up and out of the way so I have to use like four hair ties but it, it works. <laughs> Coach Al is the leader of all of it. Um, she finds the right balance of how to keep us in the right direction, but also let us have fun. Coach always gives the team over to the seniors, and this year we all are putting in the hard work to try to make the season the best that it can be. So it's been a really fun year with everybody getting to know all the new girls and just getting closer with all the returners. Uh, Costa Rica played a big part in that, just being able to spend like a week and a half together and go and do a lot of things that we wouldn't be able to with whitewater rafting and zip lining. And the Children's Center, uh, it was called Roble Alto in San Jose. It was awesome to get to go to. We were with kids who were nine months to six years old. That was one of everybody's favorite part of the trip, just knowing that we did something good while we were down there. It wasn't all just soccer and vacation time, like we were helping little kids too. So It's just been great to get to know everybody and know that no matter where you go, even after you graduate, everybody's going to remember those moments and back to college and just traveling together and experiencing the things that we did. It's just something that you'll never forget. <laughs> Athletics gave me the chance to develop skills that you can't learn anywhere else without being involved in it, so I think I'm ready for the real world after <laughs> being a college athlete.